Hello everyone and welcome back again. In the last 3 to 4 videos we have done a lot of things of the react navigation like uh, uh, navigating from one screen to another screen, how to pass the data uh, from one screen to another and also bottom tab and top tab navigator. In this video we are going to know how to use the uh, drawer navigator, navigation drawer. See, uh, first we are going to uh, install the library. So this is our drawer navigator library. I'm going, this is my project. I already run the project. So let me, so just paste and now I'm going to, uh, we need to uh, install the gesture handler and reanimate it also and the latest version would require for the installation we need to uh, install the gesture handler and react reanimate it also. We have done the installation of the navigation drawer so now we are going to install the gesture handler and reanimate it just copy this and paste it. And after that, we need to uh, create a one page with the name of the gesture handler.js. So I already create my file. This is my file. See, and then you should copy this command and paste it here. Just paste and save it. We create the one file with the name of the gesture handler and then we paste this also. So this is the configuration of the gesture handler. So for the reanimated, we need to uh, go to the Bible config and just copy this command. Plugging the reanimated, you can find easily in the reanimated library. So you can take from there and just uh, paste it here. And now we are going to install our port CD iOS and port install. So it will take us some time to install our port. So this is our drawer. We should uh, create a one uh, file with the name of the my drawer. I'm going to create my one file. Uh, so just let me. So I will create the one file with the name of my drawer. So first I will go to uh, yarn iOS. I will so let's go to the our library. So first we are going to create a one uh, drawer file also. Just copy the drawer and just src navigation. And I'm going to create a one drawer dot psx and just remove the extra things. First, we need to import the driver navigator. Just copy this and come here and just and also we should define the type also export uh, type we only use for the TypeScript. If you are using the JS, you should not define the type also. So we need to define our screen also. So I will go to the screen. So this is, I will search. This is my screen, copy. Uh, my search screen, I will show in my drawer. So just come here and pass the type. And now we are coming here. I'll just copy the driver navigator and come here and just paste it. And we need to, uh, drawer dot screen and we need to we need to define the name of the our screen also and this is our screen copy the screen and now we need to call our screen also and search this is my search screen so now we need to go to the main stack and navigation and this is our main stack so this is my main stack so now i will command my top tab bar so this is my tab bar come here and now i'm uh, come here and just stack dot screen we need to name in the name we should define our name also and my drawer screen so this is my drawer now component and so this is my component also just save it my, i import my drawer screen also with the name of the new my drawer so now i'm going to the uh, home screen home screen this is 
and just type my my drawer if I click here let me reload it first so this issue come when we have a mismatch the version of the navigations let me show you and package.json see uh, our drawer is a seven bottom tabs and others uh, navigation library is 6.6 .6 or something like that. and this is the different and we have the bottom navigation and other navigation library is a six and 6.6 so .6, but in the drawer navigation is a 7.1 uh, so just copy this we need to uh, remove the yarn remove the driver navigation and now i want to install the driver navigation but but we need to install the lower versions so i'm going to the driver navigation and here six so this is the version six just copy this command and come here remove this also and just paste it let me yarn again let me reload it first now when, when i click the screen so it will go navigate to the drawer also see i can go back we can reload also again just click here if you want to add another screen or so we can add another screen also in here uh, so this is my drawer and just copy the and here we should add the this is my setting screen I will copy the uh, I will add the another screen also with the name of setting let me copy this and come here to the paste the set and this is my setting screen so now we have two screens see so this is the driver navigator in the screen option we have a drawer style and we can define the background color also let me define the red see uh, we can see uh, we can uh, change the background color also of the drawer you can also change the uh, width of the drawer also like uh, we need to the 200 see if i pass the 100 we can see So this is the drawer uh, customization we can customize our drawer also so we also customize our tab also we have uh, options an option we have a uh, see we have a header background color we have a uh, uh, we have an option also we can change the icon also driver or drawer icon we can change the drawer icon also let me icon so this is our drawer and like this and we need to we need to import our image also from react native find the style also And let me remove the it will be a white background also we have changed the icon also see we can also change the icon of the uh, next screen also like this options and we need to the option we have a drawer icon and just And here we can change the image and just source image path and just profile uh, this is our icon so now i'm going to uh, style my icon also just copy this styling and come here in your image just paste it now we can see see 
we can change the icon also of the drawer so we have faced the issue also so that issue uh, related to the our version of the drawer navigation so we just change our version then we run our app so it work again so see this is my drawer navigation so this is the whole series of the react navigation so see you in next video for now bye bye